Where do old boats go when they are no longer in service? Some, like Old Ironside, famous for its exploits in the War of 1812, receive a moorage of honor for life. In the case of the Kalakala, the famous ferry that plied the waters of Lake Washington and Puget Sound for half of the 20th century, pieces remain, and the city of Kirkland, which owns the most significant and recognizable ones, wants to use them to tell the vessel's story and inspire future generations. Because this story is not only the Kalakala story, it's Puget Sound story, Kirkland Washington story, and ultimately the story of how technology, art, and the Northwest spirit of innovation produced a one-of-a-kind icon and could again. She was an inspiration, combining innovative engineering with striking design. She pioneered welding and prefabricated assembly construction methods and featured an aerodynamic silver streamlined art deco design, stunning and unprecedented. Before bridges, cars, and buses, before Amazon Fresh, water highways connected us from home to work, home to school, farm to market. Built in Kirkland at the Lake Washington shipyards, present day Carillon Point, in 1935, the silvery Kalakala emerged from the burnt remnants of the ferry Peralta, a not uncommon occurrence in the maritime industry, where parts of vessels are reused in other vessels. And so it was in the case of the Kalakala, the first of nine lives. Second life. The Black Ball Ferry Line enlists the Kalakala to carry passengers between Seattle and Bremerton. Evenings and weekends, this workhorse became a spectacular night spot. Its streamlined silhouette with silvery art deco skin shimmering through dark waters while famous bands played. This was during the Great Depression and the war years, so people had reason to forget your troubles, come on, get happy. The place to be seen was the passenger deck's forward bow of the Kalakala. Third life. In 1946, the Kalakala received the first commercial vessel patent for a radar FCC license. Fourth life. The Kalakala became a Washington State Ferry, beginning a 32-year stint traveling to and from Victoria, BC. 1962, fifth life. The Kalakala received national recognition a symbol of the Seattle World's Fair second only to the Space Needle. Like the Gold Rush, the Smith Tower, Boeing, and now Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, the Kalakala put the Northwest on the global map. Sixth Life, 1967. Decommissioned, Kalakala moved to Alaska to be used as a fish cannery until the owner defaulted on loans and the vessel became property of the state of Alaska. Seventh life. In recent years, people tried to save the Kalakala and find permanent moorage for it. Even in its demise, the Kalakala's haunting presence and unwillingness to succumb to time and neglect set it apart. Eighth life. Sadly, the boat was demolished in 2015. The city of Kirkland has given the Kalakala a ninth life. Like many with profound attachments to the Kalakala, Kirkland residents heard about superstructure parts for salvage and asked the city of Kirkland to purchase the most significant ones. Now a committee seeks concepts for repurposing the Kalakala. These concepts, both artistic and interpretive, can share our maritime past with generations to come and inspire the inventors and designers among us to think beyond today and envision our future. Our cities can grow beyond nine lives, like the Kalakala, with the past repurposed and repackaged for the future in a way that sustains us, surprises us, and elevates us, much like the Kalakala did so many years ago. If you have the passion of, we can do, then join our efforts. Mm -hmm.